Okay, so from the beginning here, we've got some tin can here. We've got a bowl of what looks to be crafting supplies, jewelry making supplies. It looks like we have a uh, what looks to be some type of um, jewelry box here, and then a couple a couple of other boxes right here. So that's what we're looking at. Let's dig in and see what we can't find. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video. Today we're going to go through the shop, get it organized a little bit, cleaned up a little bit, and uh, I actually donated a whole box truck load of stuff that uh, would usually go to our thrift store. Um, we donated it, got rid of it, make, a, make some more room here in the shop. Uh, that was yesterday, and I'm going to show you uh, just how much room I've actually been able to gain back in my uh, warehouse. Um, a little bit of an update with everything that's going on. Uh, since Hot Sauce and I are now expecting our third kiddo. Um, yeah, yeah, in case you didn't know, that's really kind of where we are with this whole thing is we ended up closing our thrift store. It's unfortunate, but uh, we're just going to focus our efforts in other places. It's not a big deal at the end of the day. We were month to month there, uh, so we weren't locked into any kind of contract, which is a good thing. Um, I wouldn't have done it any other way. And um, the unfortunate thing is, yes, we're closing the thrift store, but the good thing is um, that gives us the opportunity to just donate everything else that we would deem essentially yard sale items. Um, aside from that, also, Papa is hanging out at the house. He's not really leaving, and that's exactly what we want him to do is just stay at home. Um, I know everybody loves Papa. I love Papa. I miss him terribly. He's only 20 minutes down the way, but uh, we're not going to visit him uh, in fear of whatever might happen. And, uh, and he's just staying home, and uh, that's what we really need him to do. So... For a while, it's just going to be me and this ugly mug. That's uh, that's really it for this uh, this channel. Papa is not going to be with us. We still have a full box truck that we need to empty out, and uh, we need to get back up to the TJ Maxx hoarder unit and get the rest of that stuff out of the storage unit. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure exactly when that's going to be. It should be pretty soon. We've had a lot of rain here, and we've been dealing with that and that's why nothing's come off the box truck so i've been kind of focusing here in the shop and getting things uh, a little more organized let's take a look okay so this right here was just plumb full of stuff and i've got i've been able to get rid of a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff that we had over here was just stuff that uh that really wasn't worth much i mean it's it it was stuff that still had value to somebody but it was yard sale stuff so we got rid of it and uh, down this way, we've got a lot more room, as you can tell, than what we did have. This thing was just stacked full of boxes, and we got rid of a whole bunch of it. So that's where we are with that. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. And uh, make sure you're here with us Saturday night for the live auction. Let's see what we can't find today. Okay, so just an update on how the shop is looking. I can actually see my floor for the first time in forever. Um, all of this right here was plumb full of stuff. Still got that corner to go through and this right here to go through. But look at this, guys. It's nearly, it's nearly empty, which is amazing uh, because, wow, it was just packed full of stuff. All the stuff right here on these shelves I'm planning on keeping. Um, and we'll go through a lot of that stuff Probably uh, here in this video, we'll take a look at some of the stuff that I'm keeping here. But um, those are my buddy Phillips. Need to find a way to get those out of here at some point. Um, all of this stuff on along this side here, I'm keeping. Um, all of this right here. Look at all of that fabric just sitting there. It's crazy. Um, and so all of this right here is going to be donation. I've got somebody on the hook uh, to come get all of this tomorrow. And I'm excited to have that gone, including that desk there. Um, 
excited to have it gone. It's going to go away, and I'm sure I'm going to add to the pile before it's all said and done. This right here is all trash, and uh, I'll have to load that up and take it to the dump. But uh, making some progress, making some headway. This right here was actually donated to us. I'm going to see if I can't get it to run. Uh, it's a John Deere Edger. Uh, that sucker is ancient. Pretty neat, though. Okay, so the first thing we've got are these three boxes of baseball cards. Uh, some Larry Johnson there. Uh, baseball, basketball, I'll just say sports cards. How about that? Um, these three boxes will probably just uh, go in a lot on our YouTube auction. And uh, I haven't went through them, don't have time to go through them. Lord knows what might be in there or what might not be. But yeah, we're going to send those to auction. Uh, perfect brownie. Never seen that before. Um, we got an expandable bread keeper. This is really neat. This is a Pyrex uh, Portables. Uh, brand new in the box. There it is right there. Decided to keep that. This right here is a marble bag. And... Uh, Decided to keep this. It's kind of used up a little bit, but uh, who knows? This this might actually be worth some money. Got a Hamilton Beach coffee uh, maker. Uh, it's new in the box. Of course, it's old, old school, new old stuff. Um, these I bought a while back, and they're little fisheye lenses for cell phones. They're just clip-on. Bought a whole bunch of them. I used to sell these on Mercari. And um, kind of got out of that. So, I uh, have no idea. Uh, it was new, so I kept it. Uh, this right here, I might end up using on my own account. Um, it's a Microsoft Office Student and Teacher Edition 2003. So, I kept that potentially to use for myself. All right, here we go. Let's go through this box. Okay. Here is uh, what looks to be... Um, it says Big Comfy. Uh, 1995 Big Comfy. I don't know her worth, but I think she's around 30 or $40 on eBay. So I decided to hold on to her. I believe this is what they call Blow Mold. And so it's a uh, blow mold um, ghost. <laughs> Sorry. And I've got just some random stuff in here. This is an older uh, purse here. Usually I'll hold on to these, uh, these older style purses until I've got uh, several to lot up in an auction. Here's some uh, crochet thread, brand new. I say it's brand new, it's a little dirty, but um, I'll lock this stuff up in our auction as well, stuff like this. And then a bag full of uh, wooden beads, and then here's some more beads in this, and uh, just a lot of jewelry and beads in this as well. And here's an organizer as well. This, uh, this thing's new, never used. Um, I'll just add this to a craft lot in our auction. Okay, in this box, we've got a whole bunch of socks. These are brand new. I'll likely lock these socks up in auction as well. Just a ton of socks. Then we've got uh, a lot of... Uh, what are these called? Sewing patterns. And uh, I have tons of these. They're just kind of scattered right now, but I will, I'll get them all in one place eventually. And we've got a bunch of these, um, several of these. Let's see, one, two, at least three of them in here. And they're really nice picture frames. Brand new. So, who knows? 
<clears throat> a lot of this stuff that came out of the TJ Maxx hoarders unit that is new, I'm holding on to, and I'm just kind of, other than the crafts and stuff like that, I'm donating a lot of it. And this right here, I have no idea. That's a Ralph Lauren technique kit. Uh, I guess it's for painting or something. That looks like a painting brush of some sort. But uh, I thought it was really interesting, so I decided to keep it. And a lot of these uh, crafting and sewing books, I'm holding on to them to lot those up as well. Alright, and in this box we have a bunch of these Neopets from McDonald's. Uh, a lot of them are brand new, never opened. Some of them have been opened, is that like that one. But I'm holding on to those to lock those up. And down below, you see a bunch of, uh, a bunch more patterns. Now, as far as I understand it, these patterns are worth about a dollar a piece, and you can lot them up on eBay for a hundred of them for a hundred bucks pretty easily, as long as they haven't been used. Of course, they, you can still sell them used as long as all the, all the pieces are there, but you won't get as much. And so that's what we've got in this box. All right, and in this tub, we've got a Harley Davidson jacket. Let me see if I can turn it around there. Uh, so I thought that was neat and kept it. Um, this is an Under Armour hoodie. Again, something that'll go well on eBay. Some Allegria shoes. These are good for, um, these are considered nursing shoes. They sell pretty well on eBay. Here's a uh, Vivitar B3800N multi-exposure. Uh, I guess it's a, a 10 millimeter camera. And uh, this thing should sell pretty well on eBay as well. Some more shoes here. These uh, these I actually bought on from Goodwill. And... Uh, I think that these are Allen Edmonds. Can't remember. Uh, these are some LL Bean slippers. I bought these from Goodwill. These I bought from Goodwill as well. They're Keen uh, slides. Another Goodwill purchase. Uh, these are Mercedes boots. These are some high dollar boots, guys. Definitely high dollar. Uh, this looks like it's a flower bomb. This is a, a, a perfume. Uh, Liverpool. This is a jacket, a women's jacket. And a pair of men's BKE jeans. Okay, so I just showed you guys pretty much just one shelf of the stuff that we're keeping right there. I think it's time for us to really kind of dig into a few other boxes that I haven't really been through. So let's take a look. But first, I want to show you this. This is really cool. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with this stuff. But um, it's a collection that came out of the gold and silver storage unit uh, that I bought a little over a year ago. And I'm still holding on to this because I don't think I can get rid of it. Take a look at this. Right here, it is exactly what it looks like. Um, these things are so ornate and so interesting. Genuine ivory. That's exactly what it is. All of these pieces right here, except for this one. This one's stone. And, uh, but everything else here is ivory. Natsuki, I think they call it. Um, uh oh, be careful. Look at this guy. Is that not amazing? I just don't know what I can do with this stuff. Don't have a clue. And I don't know why there's holes in it either. I've always wondered that. There's a lot of these pieces have holes. This one obviously doesn't. 
but a lot of these other guys do. See, there's holes. Um, so interesting. So interesting. All these pieces here. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, wait. Let's look in. Oh, look at this. Check this out. I think that this is uh, hand painted. Let me set it right here so I can fold it out. Hand painted uh, tiles. I thought those were really interesting. And the back side has a different a different view as well. So those are really, really cool. Okay guys, so this box says crafting and miscellaneous and it came from the gold and silver storage unit that I bought a little over a year ago. There's a lot of stuff that I've just kind of condensed down and haven't really went through and this is one of those boxes. So we're going to take a look today and see what we've got. Okay, so from the beginning here, we've got some tin can here. We've got a bowl of what looks to be crafting supplies, jewelry making supplies. It looks like we have a uh, what looks to be some type of um, jewelry box here. And then a couple, a couple of other boxes right here. So that's what we're looking at. Let's dig in and see what we can't find. So in here, looks like a lot of jewelry making supplies and some jewelry. I would assume that it's mostly crafting. Uh, that's shells. This is all stuff that would go really well in, uh, in my auction. So that's all supplies, to jewelry making supplies. Here's a pair of earrings. There's a brooch. Copyright JJ. So this is a signed <laughs> cow. It's a cow. That's interesting. Here's a pen. Uh, New Mexico. It's got an alien on it. I have so much jewelry, it's unbelievable how much jewelry I've got. And some of this, some of this stuff is vintage. That looks pretty cool. So nothing's really jumping out at me, but I'll have to spend some more time with this. Let's just put this back in here and move on. Okay. Wow. All right. So that's that's nothing special. That's uh seed beads. It was an unfinished uh some unfinished business there. This says Levenger, but I don't think there's anything in it. Yeah, it's empty. All right. unfinished and that just looks like a little catch-all for some thread and that's really about it in this in this thing wait 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 oh my goodness all right empty JC Penny let's see what's in here Wow. Look at the buttons. Holy moly. This thing's plumb full of buttons. Wow. The whole thing. Even these. And these. And there's a lot of mother of pearl in here, it looks like. 
That's cool. So it's a box plum full of buttons and yeah, those are buttons too. This one's probably the same. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Tons and tons of buttons. Look at that, guys. That's amazing. I don't know a single thing about these things. I know that there are some buttons that are worth a lot, but I, I can't tell the difference between one or the other. Wow. Tons of buttons. Alright. This looks like some batting. Some fleece batting. Okay, that's a pattern for cross stitch. 20 bucks. Alright, let's get to it. Here we have what looks to be a jewelry box. There's jewelry in it. No way. Okay. Um, Ripon College, Ripon, Wisconsin. What is this? That's pretty. Just an earring. This is neat. It's a little pill bottle, pill box. Uh, looks like pewter. Has a dragon on it. That's pretty neat. And a uh, little felt on the end. Yep, it's pewter. It's got a copy right here. Looks like, or a stamp of some sort. Uh, Gall. G-A-L-L. -L. Don't know. Alright. That's pretty. That earring's really, really pretty. But it's not gold. However, this... That stamped 14 karat. Nice. A tie pen. 14 karat gold. Whoa. We'll take that. That's cool. Alright. Wow, that's crazy. I'm finding gold still. That is insane. Wait a sec. Here's a ring. Okay. And this is also stamped... 10 karat. So this is a 10 karat gold ring. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not going to It's not going to do it. That's 10 karat gold ring. There it goes. Maybe. There it is. That's pretty. Maybe that's amethyst? No, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. Okay, so there might be a few pieces of sterling in there as well. I think this this lifts up. And we've got more down here. These are cute. They're just made of tin. Little brooches. Here's another one. That's a peacock. And a clown. This is really interesting. It's made of leather. It's a tie pin, looks like, handmade. Um, of a dragon, looks like. That's cool. What's this? This is really pretty. It's got some kind of engraving on it. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry my hands are dirty. I've been working out here all day. That might be a real diamond in the center of that. How does it open? Okay, on this side. 
This is an Illinois pocket watch. Illinois pocket watch. I can't. There it is. It's missing. It looks like it's missing the uh, face cover, the the glass cover to the face. I don't know if this is gold or not. I'm not seeing any markings anywhere. That's really cool. I'll have to set this aside and look it up. This is really neat. If anybody knows anything about these Illinois pocket watches, please let me know. Wait, there's a thing to open the other side. Oh, wow. Okay. So that doesn't... It says D.W.C.C. One two four eight seven. I don't know if you can see that right here. It's just there it goes. That's what it's showing up as. So I'll have to take a look at this. Okay, back where we left off. So that's pretty much it for there. Um have no idea what these are. Henry Mason? Or Harry Mason? I don't know. Looks interesting. Alright. Let's see what else we got in here. We saw these. Oh, wow. It says made in Holland and it looks like it's stamped 925. So that's another brooch. Uh, sterling silver brooch. What about this? That's pretty. It's an earring. I don't see a stamp offhand, but that could be sterling potentially. Here's the other one. There's so much jewelry here, it's ridiculous. Okay, moving on. Bag full of what looks to be wooden beads of some sort and bone? That looks like bone. Wood and bone. That's interesting. These feel far too light to be real. So I think they're just plastic. This looks like some kind of kit. Denim and diamonds. Interesting. That's pretty. That looks like sterling. That looks like sterling and turquoise. Just a piece of costume jewelry here, I think, guys. That's marked for 20 bucks. Don't have a clue. Made in China. That doesn't look like gold. Cubes. Uh, I guess they're stone cubes. You got me, dude. You got me. <clears throat> we need Papa here with his commentary. I'll tell you that much. That is probably the world's largest ring. I don't know what use this would be other than a pendant. Don't have a clue. No stamp anywhere. Couldn't imagine it being anything. This is pretty. A couple of earrings here. 
I gotta look look at these. Why would they be by themselves? Don't have a clue. It's one of those things where I'll just have to test it. I mean, it has that gold luster to it. But I'm not going to sit here and say it's gold because it's not blatantly marked. I know some pieces are marked on the post. And I'll just have to look, look them up real closely with a loop. Let's see what else we've got in here. That's an empty bag. Another empty bag. Another empty bag. Look at this, guys. Why are there pins like that on there? That's interesting to me. I don't think that that's sterling. And see, this one's the same way. I don't know what those pins are for. That's old. Don't have a clue. Obviously, I don't have a clue about a lot of things. It's a scoop for beadworking. Okay. This looks like it's a... These are stretcher bars for needlepoint. Wow. Bead gallery. Stuff is all brand new. What else we got? Okay, this says Swarovski Elements. That's neat. And that's everything in the bag here. That's interesting. These look like mother of pearl um, for inlay purposes and stuff. Making inlays. Those are pretty neat. Yep. Uh, Dominica. Uh, D Dominic Art Inlay dot com. Interesting. These look like clock parts. Made in Germany. Yeah. There's so much stuff in here, guys. What's in here? Oh, yeah. A bunch of seed beads. Somebody was making what looks to be a Michigan uh, little t-shirt out of seed beads. Ribbon roses. More ribbon. This is a uh, die cut of some sort. Who knows? Ariel. Oh, that's just a <laughs> uh, cell phone charger. And the rest of this, well, here's Claire's collection. Colgate. And the rest of this looks to be just a bunch of, well, there's that. $8.50 is what 
she had on this. And that's really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. She took a watch, what it looks like, she took a watch and put some type of flower in it and turned it into a brooch. So that's pretty neat. Here's more. $12 is what she's got on this. And uh, it looks to me like it's a bracelet. Another inlay. This, this time it's a dolphin. And then the rest of this just looks like it's a lot of... What do you call that? I'm drawing a blank. Huh. I can't think for the life of me, life of me right now. Ribbon. Duh. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. I think that's I think that's pretty much everything in this box other than, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'd say that was a pretty interesting box.